Good afternoon, this is Bremster and welcome to the start of a new gas video. So this is the gas puzzle for the 10th of January 2024 and it's called Days Like These by Bill Murphy. Before I get on to this puzzle and the quote for it, um, of course go check out the um, gas YouTube channel linked below and the gas homepage, lots of details there. I, this is where I would normally do a readout of gas achievements that have been collected and posted to the um, daily Sudoku discussion forum but they haven't been posted for this five days so I can't do that. Um, so I might do a double at the start of the next video uh, assuming they're posted or I might be a bit behind and we'll see how it all goes. Um, so the message that came with this puzzle is a quote bouncing around my head a lot in the last couple of days. This is from Bill Murphy. Sorry, I should have said that. I think I did. Oops. Anyway, a quote bouncing around my head a lot in the last couple of days is also true of writing gas intros. It gets easier. Every day it gets a little easier, but you've got to do it every day. That's the hard part, but it does get easier. Writing video titles doesn't get easier. I have found that after doing nearly a thousand of them. Um, today's guess is an arrow Sudoku. That's all I got for you. Um, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a Bojack Horsementaliosaurus. Great. So this is an arrow Sudoku. So normal Sudoku rules apply. This is the first video, so I'll go through what that means. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, we have to place the digits one to nine without repetition. Then in this puzzle, we've got arrows and digits along an arrow must sum to the digit in the bulb of that arrow. So the sum of these two digits will go here. The sum of these two digits will go, go here. That's what we know. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, this has to be the sum of these two. So eight plus one plus, whoa, how am I in letter mode? What the heck has happened here? That must have been an override setting because I don't default to that. Eight plus one is nine. Um, this is two or three, or well, this can't be a nine, so this can't be three. So this is two and eight. Now this has a maximum of seven. So this is six, oh, it can't be six. So this is seven and this is two. My keyboard is doing very weird things. Now, that puts two down here. Can't put two or three on this. That's probably not where to start. This is one or two, but it can't be one because there's a one in the row. So this is two and nine. This can't be two, so it's one because it had to be one or two. So that makes this the eight. Now, there's no seven, eight or nine in this. So that has to be higher than five. So this is six and one. Now, these are two, three and four. There's no three in any of those. So this is the three, which puts three in one of these. Those. Now I could probably do some math here, but I'm going to try and avoid that for as long as possible, though I may have to, because what I know about this box is it's all of the digits one to nine, they sum to 45. I have to put a seven somewhere here, right? I have to put a seven somewhere in this box. Forget the math. And I can't put it on an arrow because if I put it on an arrow, I'd need something higher than seven on the arrowhead and I can't do it. So seven is in one of the arrowheads and it's not there. So this is a seven. So this is one, six. It's not, it's two, five or three, four. So it's two, five. Well, hang on. Where's two in this box because it has to go down here. But if I put two here, what am I making up two digits? So this is two and five. These are now one, three and four. And we know the, the four is the sum of the one and the three. And we know the order of the three and the one because of that one. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, this two, of course, made this the four and this the two. Now, I've just got these arrows in these weird boxes to sort it out. Now, this is the one by Sudoku. One, two, these are three and four, and I know the order because of the four already in row one. So we know that there's a one actually on this arrow. So these are consecutive. So they're not two, three. They could be three, four. No, they can't be three, four. The three is not available. So it could be four, five. It can't be five, six. It can't be six, seven. It can't be seven, eight. It can't be eight, nine. This is four and five. And that's because all of those digits were eliminated by options here. That's very cool. So this... Is there something I can do here? Well, I know two is right here. So these are different by two. So they're the same polarity. They can't be six, eight. So they're odd. So this is, it can't be one, three. So it could be three, five. It can't be five, seven, and it can't be seven, nine. So this is three and five. That's very cool. That puts five right here by Sudoku. Do I have more Sudoku? Yeah, three is here by Sudoku. Let's put this triple in. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, and nine. There's no three there. There's no three there. So that's the three. These are four and nine. Four is in one of those two, but I'm not sure that's it. One, two, three, four, six, eight, and nine. 
eight, well, hang on, where's eight in this box? Eight is here. So these are four, six, and nine. Four and six are looking down there. That's the nine, that's the four, that's the six. These are now pairs. One, two, three, four, and seven. And the seven makes that the four, that the seven, that's the nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, and six. And the five looks down, making that the six and that the five. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's an eight. So this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and these are two, six, and seven. There's no seven there, there's no two or six there, that's the seven. This is a two, six. There's almost certainly something going on with these arrows that I haven't sorted, but let's finish these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and these are one, six, and eight. There's no six there, there's no eight there, there's no one there. Okay. So is it... I know one is... No, I don't know one is on this arrow. This is a triple. One five, eight. There's no five there. There's no eight there. There's no one there. So there's no one on this arrow at all. I'm just, again, I'm getting that feeling that I've made a mistake. Nine is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. So what are these? One, two, three, four, six. Well, this can't be two, because I can't put a one on this. So it can't even be three or four. This is a six. And this can't be three, three. So there's no three here. This is the three. Now, I can't put, this is a two, four pair. That's kind of crazy. And the four here makes that the two, that the four, which makes that the six, that the two. These are now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. And the seven here makes that the nine and that the seven. That's really weird. So what have I got up here? One, three, four, eight. Well, I'm not putting eight there or four. I'm not putting three there. Well, this can't be an eight because then I'd need to put a nine on the circle and I can't. So this is, if it's one, three, this is four. It can't be that. If it's one, four, this is five. It can't be that. So this is three, four, seven. There's no three, four there. This is the eight. This is the one. This is the six. This is the eight. These are one and nine. And I know the order. Nine, one. The one looks down making this eight, five, one. And this box needs a two, which goes there. Four, five, which goes there. And a six. And that's the solution. Six minutes, 28 seconds. I don't think I did great at that puzzle, but I had a lot of fun discovering how these boxes worked. I thought these boxes and these rows were very, very cool. The, the opening was fairly clear, but this stuff was a little bit tricky to me. The two hat time was seven minutes, so I definitely pulled that one off. That was really cool. Um, that's all I've got for today, so I will be back tomorrow with tomorrow's puzzle. Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, I'm back with the next puzzle. Um, the keen eye of what amongst you may have realised that I actually don't always record these every day. I tend to record them in batches, and that's because that's just how my recording schedule works. Um, I also, on my channel, for those of you who may not be aware, I often record up to a week in advance, and I'll often record like six or seven puzzles on the same day. And the reason I do that is I suffer from chronic migraine, um, and if I get a migraine, it can take me out for several days. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that there's content on the channel ready to go if I have to disappear for a few days. So um, yeah, that's why often I will record well in advance and you'll see me just do like the same outfit and everything. And I do the same with the gas, although with these I'm trying to do them every day because they're short, but it doesn't always work. Anyway, so today's puzzle is called Dapple Lines by Philip Newman. Um, it is a zipper line puzzle and it came with the following message. An aggressively terrible joke shared on our Patreon Discord in Bad Jokes. Two friends were preparing to hike up a mountain, and one friend noticed the other was packing some unusual flags. Why do you have flags with the number two on them? I wanted to be prepared in case we had to communicate in semi-four. 
Today's guest is the Zipper Lines Sudoku. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a Marzipan Maripanosaurus. Great. Um, so this is a zipper line puzzle. So the way zipper lines work, um, normal Sudoku rules, but the way zipper lines work is for each line, the digits in each pair of cells an equal distance away from the central cell of, of the line, sum to the digits in the central cell of the line. So there's a couple of different ways of phrasing this rule. This one's a bit weird, but okay. Basically what it means, for example, is on this quite short line, this is the central cell. So these two cells, because they're an equal distance away, must sum to the digit in that cell. On this line, this is the central cell. So whatever goes in this cell, these two cells will sum to it. And these two cells will sum to what is in that cell as well. Now, this zipper lines can have slightly different wording if they're in an even length rather than odd, but it looks like all of the zipper lines in this puzzle are in odd lengths, so we're okay. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, I can see that this cell and this cell have to sum to what goes here, but so this has to be higher than eight. So this is nine, this is one, seven plus this is nine, so that is two. Now, this and this has to add to what goes here, but the minimum I can put here is three. So this has to be three, this has to be nine, five plus that is nine. Now, can I do the same down here maybe? I'm not sure. Now, I do know this has to be eight or nine because it is that plus that. So this has to be one or two, but this can't be one. So this is two. So seven plus two is nine. Six plus three is nine. Now over here, this has to be higher than five. So it's six, seven, eight, or nine. Now it's not eight. So this, if this was um, six, this is one. If it's seven, this would be two and it can't be. So it's not seven. And if it was nine, this would be four and it can't be. So this is six and one and four plus that is six, so that is two. Great, we're getting some progress. These are now triples. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, where do I put four in this row? It goes right there, and this is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, and eight go in there. In here, one, two, three, seven, and nine. So this is the nine, this is a three, seven pair. In here, I need to put one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is the five, this is the four and the six. And down here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, and eight. So these are one, two, and eight by the look of it. That's not a two. So two is in here. Okay, so these have to sum to nine. Now they're not four, five, or three, six, and they're not two, seven. These are one and eight. Okay, so do I want to look at these quadruples maybe? Well, five is here in this box. Nine is here, but I can't put nine, right, where is nine in box two? It can't go in here, so it's in one of those three. It can't be in the central cell, and if it was here, this would be higher than nine. So this is the nine, which puts nine in one of those two. Now, what is this quadruple? One, four, five, six. So one, four, five, and six. But this is the sum of that plus that. Now there's no five in here. So if this was a one, this plus this would sum to one. That doesn't work. If this is a four, this would be one and three, which which doesn't work because I can't put a three there. So this can't be a four. This is the six. I take six out of there. This is either one, five, which it can't be. So it is four and two, and there's no four in those. That's a one, five pair. That's very weird. So that puts four and six down here. So four is in here, six is in here because of the four and six we've already got down here. Three is in one of those. I'm not sure if I don't want to do the same trick here or possibly here. Well, no, where is nine in this box? It is in one of those two cells, but it can't be the sum. So this is the nine. These have to sum to nine. Now they could be one eight in this order. They can't be two seven. They can't be four five. If they're three six, it's three and six. No, I don't think that's it. But now, well, now that's not a nine. This is a nine. So what goes, I'm, okay, let's look at this quadruple because it's one, two, seven, and eight. There's no two in those. 
And this is the sum of that and that. So it's not one or two. This is seven or eight. So there's no eight there. So if this is seven, this is one six, and it can't be. So this is eight, and this is one seven in one way or the other. So this is not eight. That's not eight. So this is a one seven pair. That's a two. The one seven looks over making that the three and that the seven. This is a triple. Well, actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. These are one, two, three, four, and six. There's no six there. There's no four there. And I can remove the corner marks. My timer, oh, this is the six. This is a three, four. Again, I feel my timer is terrible. Is it this triple? Because this is one, five, eight. No, I, well, hang on, that makes that the five. So there's no five here. This is a one, eight pair. What can I tell about that line? Because this one, two, eight doesn't resolve the same way. I'm starting to be terrified I've made a mistake. If this is 1, 8, this can't be 1, 8, or both of those would be 5. So this is 6 and 3. So what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 and 7. So these are 2 and 7. 3, 6, 2, 7. Put 7 in one of those two. What's this quadruple maybe? Two is over here, so well, two is right there. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three, four, and seven. There's no four there. There's no four there. That's the four. This is a three, seven pair. And this three in this column means that's the seven. This is the three. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, six, seven. There's no six there. Oh, there's no six in either of those. So that's the six. I'm not seeing where to look. One, three, eight. There's no three there. So seven is in one of those two, but that's not helping either. Five in one of those. So it's got to be this zipper line, but I can't see how to resolve it. Three, four, five, seven. So five is in one of those two. There's no four in those. So three, five, seven. There's no three there. So what is on this line? There has to be a six on the line. There's a six in one of those two. Now, if this is a six, this can't be a seven. This would be six, eight, two. So this is the six. So these sum to six. They're not two, four. So they have to be one, five, which means that's the seven. which means that's the four, that's the three, that's the four, that's the five, that's the one, that's the five. There's no one there. The seven makes that the two and that the seven. This is the eight, which means that's the one, that's the two. The one takes one out of there. The four makes that the seven. The eight make, the one makes that the eight. So one, two, this is a three. This is a one, this is an eight. These are one and four. But the one seven looks down, making that the four, that the one, which makes that the seven, that the one, that the seven. These are one, two, three, four, five, eight, and nine. There's no nine in either of those. So that's the nine. The four looks up, making that the six and that the four. The five and the eight are resolved because of the five already in row four. That takes eight out of both of those. So this is one, three, eight. The one makes this five and one. The five looks down, making this eight and five. And that is the correct solution in eight minutes, 33.
I needed seven minutes for two party hats, so I obviously missed a trick with this puzzle. I thought I broke in okay in finding these triples and everything. I got stuck here and then I couldn't see how to resolve these cleanly. So something went wrong there. Now I was very, I was way under the one hat time, um, but I'm sure there was something there I missed and maybe someone will tell me or I'll go check the guest video, which is much more likely. Oh, well, didn't do as well on that one as I could have. Um, that happens sometimes. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you on tomorrow's puzzle. Okay, the next puzzle is from the 12th of January 2024, and it's a called Quadro by Clover. Now, it comes with the following message. Hello, let's all quaff a quaint and quirky Quadro Sudoku. Did you know that there are nearly 50 English, well, arguably English anyways, words that contain Q but no U? Next time uh, we'll have a Quadro Sudoku and the spelling is off on that. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a quiz quizzical Quantasaurus. Okay, so... Um, the rules on this one, normal Sudoku rules, and in any two by two, uh, no two by two set of cells, um, no two by two set of cells only con contains only odd or only even digits. So if we draw any two by two, um, there must be both odd even parodies in that two by two, anywhere in the grid. So those, that two by two, that two by two, that two by two, that two... <laughs> that's not a two by two that two by two that two by two anywhere in the grid i'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot so they're all odd so this has to be even and it can't be four or six so that's two or eight um, i can do the same down here these are all odd this has to be even it can't be four or six that's two or eight what does that do well hang on seven and nine so i can't put seven nine in any of those so this is a seven nine pair so these are all even. They're two, four, six, eight. I can't put eight in them. There's no eight there. That's the eight. This is two, four, six. There's no four there. Now these are all even. So this has to be odd, and it's not one. It's not three, five, or seven. So it's one or nine. These are all even. This has to be odd, and it's not one, seven, nine. So it's three or five. That's cool. Um, but it seems to run out there. Can I do the same down here? One, two, three. Well, one and three can't go in those and they can't go in those. So this is the one, three pair. These are all even and they're not two. This is the two. This is the four, six, eight, and there's no six there. Okay. These are all even. So this is odd. So this is three or nine because it's not one, five, seven. This is all even. So this is odd. So this is one, three, five or seven. Great. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, five, seven, nine. There's no seven there. So this is the seven and the five, nine is resolved. Nine and five. Now this is all even, uh, all odd. So this is even, and it's not four or two. So it's six or eight. Oh, it's six because there's an eight there. So that makes this two and takes two out of those. Um, can I do the same? Where was that? That'd be down here. This triple. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's no one in those. So this is the one and the five makes this three and this five. These are all even. So this is sorry, all odd. So this has to be even and it's not two, six or eight. So that's a four, which looks back making that the eight and there's no eight in there. This triple one, two, three, four, five, one, three, seven. So they're all odd. There's no one there or three. That's a seven and I can take seven out of those. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, six, two, six, and eight. They're all even. There's no eight there. And not sure. Oh, there's no six there. That's the two and I can take two out of there. This is a six, eight pair. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, no. No, three, seven, and nine is what it is. There's no seven in them. So it's three, nine. That's the seven. That's the nine. The three makes that the nine and that the three. This is a triple. One, they're all even. Aren't? No. One, two, three, four, two, four, five. Well, there's no four there. There's no two there. These are both, oh, there needs to be an even there, but there's going to be. Okay, these are all odd. So this has to be even and it's not four. So it's two, six or eight. Hmm.
So how did I get all of that? Was it something up here? Was it this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, three, seven, and nine, which are all odd. This is the three. There's no three here. This is now a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, and eight. There's no two or four there. That's the eight. This becomes a two, four. which doesn't seem as powerful. What's the triple in this column? One, two, three, four, five, no, five, one, three, nine. There's no three or nine there. That's the one. So this is the three. This is the one. This is the nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's no six there. There's no eight there. Parity? There's got to be parity somewhere. Oh, this three makes this nine. Now, these are even because I've got all the others. So these are two, four, and eight because there's a six in the box. There's no four there. No, not there. There's just no four there. There's very... Oh, the seven, nine makes this the one, which looks down making that the three and that the one. The nine here looks up making that the seven and that the nine. The seven looks down, making that the five. No, I don't have parity happening. Those are all, those are all, oh, yeah, I've already got it. I keep saying these are all, so that has to be, but I've already got that. These are all odd. So this is even, it's not six, so it's two, four, or eight. Uh, I don't think that's it. Got, there's a seven in one of, ah, there's a seven right there. These are two, four, and eight, and there's no four in it. This is the four, so this is the six, this is the four, which looks back making that eight and six, which makes that two and eight. The two eight looks up making that the six, which takes six out of there. Now, that means I should be able to do something up here. These are all odd. So this is even. So it's two, four, eight. It's not four, so it's two or eight. These are all odd. So this is even. And it's not six or eight, so it's two or four, giving me a two, four in the row. So this is six. This is four. The four looks across making that two and that four, which makes that two, that eight. This is now three or five for the row. So this is one, two, three, four, five. This is a six. 3, 5 is resolved because there's already a 3 in the column. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, 2, 5, 6. C is a 6. So this is 2, 5. This is the 6. I could have used the 5, 8 pair for that. These are all odd. So this is even. It's not 4 or 6. It's 2 or 8. And it's not two. This is eight. Eight come so which makes this five and this eight. Eight comes out of here. Is this two, four, five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two, four, five. There's no four. No, two, four, two, four, five, and there's no four for the column. So this is the four. One, two, three. The five looks back, making this four, taking four out of there. Got to resolve these two fives somehow. These are all odd. So that's the two, that's the five, that's the five, that's the two. Seven minutes, 19 seconds. To get the dinosaur, I had to do it in 7.30. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Dinosaurs in Flintstones, which is probably aged bad. I haven't watched Flintstones in 35 years. It's probably aged badly. Wow, that was an insane puzzle. I no idea whether that, I suppose it was a fair time. I did it in 719. Still, rough puzzle, lot to think about. Thank you for the puzzle, um, and I will be back tomorrow with another one. Okay, and now the puzzle for the 13th of January 2024, which is called Moving On by Bill Murphy. Here's the message that came with it. Hey, today's the third anniversary of the worst day of my life, so I don't really have any jokes in the pocket today. Thank you for the, to this community with whom the kindness, the laughs, the compassion, and the puzzles have helped me feel somewhat normal in a time when my life felt anything but. Lisa would take care of me if she could, so I have no doubt that she would be delighted um, in place of everyone who has kept an eye out.
The worst's yet to come. Then the worst out not um, not inv- if the worst yet to come, then the worst not invited. Today's guess is a killer Sudoku. Um, today's guess also uses a trick that we've done several times before, but some people have had difficulties with. So in anticipation, I've recorded a short video uh, um, for uh, for you yesterday as a guess one hundred and one. Uh, so there's a bonus video over in the Sudoku discussion thread on the CTC fan discord where these are all re- um, published. Uh, if you get a um, dinosaur today, you get a delightful Adela Loki, Adaha Loki, Adela Lokely. That's apparently a dinosaur. Um, the 13th of January was also, um, I'm recording this after the fact, Ian, because the 13th of January was also a terrible day for me. Well, not a terrible day, but it was a memorial day for me. Um, it was the first anniversary of the, of a very, very important event, which is very sad. Um, so to do with my father, not his passing that's to come. Um, anyway, let's have a look at moving on by Bill Murphy. Normal Sudoku rules apply and digits in cages must sum to the given total. So killer. Let's restart the puzzle and let's give this a shot. So a three cage must be a one and a two minimum digits. Um, now six cage, probably forced, but I'm not sure. 16 cage must be seven and nine. Um, there's probably something going on all over this and I'm not quite seeing it. So this six cage is going to give us a one, two pair in the box because this has to be one, five or two, four, but I'm not seeing how that's going to work yet. The 17, however, is eight, nine. Ah, right. The one, the 17 is eight, nine, which makes that the seven and that the nine. The four cage is a one, three, which means this is the three and this is the one. Now I, no, that's not quite forced yet. Now, the five cage is also one, four, or two, three. These have a relationship, but I can't see. So if this, if this is, for example, if this is one, four, this is going to be two, one, and this is going to be two, four. Oh, this can't have a one in it anymore. This isn't one, five. This is two, four. So this is the one, this is the two, which means this is now one, four and puts the two up here somewhere. And that was the one, three being resolved. The seven, nine, of course, means I can't put a nine in the 14 cage. So it's not five, nine, it's eight, six, which means this is the nine, this is the eight. This can no longer be seven, eight. So it's six, nine. Quite tricky. I like that as an opening, but it is quite tricky. Now, if I, I can't, right, where does one, there is a one in this 10 cage, because if, no, there's not a one in this 10 cage. If there was a one in this 10 cage, I couldn't put one here, I couldn't put one here, and I couldn't put one here, because that one knocks one out of there. So there's no one in the 10 cage. So the minimum, without a one, the minimum digits I could use is two, three, four, but I have to increase one digit by one. So this is a two, three, five cage, which means there's no one here, here, or here. So the one is in one of these cells. I'm not putting one in a 12 cage. So the one is in one of those two. Now the one is now right here by Sudoku because the one was knocked out of all of those cells and there, that, that's actually the easier way to see this. This was two, three, five, which puts two in one of those two. This is very, very cool. Now this, I'm not going to get a time on this, I know. Now this did, oh, right, the six cage. This can't be one, two, three, or four. So this is a five, this is a one. Because this had to be from one, two, three, four, five. But this cell here couldn't be one, two, three, or four. And I couldn't put a three in it anyway. So this now can't be one. This can't be one, six. So this is two, five, or three, four. But this cage here can't be one, seven. So it's two, six, or three, five. And if this was three, five, this would be two, four, which doesn't sum to seven. So this isn't three, five. This is the two, six, which takes two, five out of there, making that the three, four, taking three out of there. This is the three, four. Now I can't use three or four in the 11 cage. So it could be two, nine. It can't be three, eight. It can't be four, seven. It could be five, six. But this can't be nine, so this can't be two. This can't be five, so this can't be six. 
I think I've got that. This 14 cage. Well, hang on, this 14 cage, it can't be 6, 8, or it'd be the same as this. So this is 9, 5. So this is 5, this is 9. So this is 5, and this is 2. No, this is 6. Let's run that back again. I've got this 11 cage wrong. This is correct. Let's just ignore that 11 cage for a bit. Now I can look at this 11 cage. It's not 9, 2. It's not 8, 3. It's not 7, 4. This is 5, 6. So this is the 2. There's no two here. Oh, the three, five means this is the six and this is the five. I got that completely wrong. Now, these cages. This can't be nine, three. It could be eight, four. It could be seven. It can't be seven, five. This is eight, four. Six, six doesn't work. Now, this cage can't have a nine or an eight. So it is seven, six. Now, the 8, 4 is resolved by the 3, 4 at the top. This 7, 6, I'm not sure. This is now the 1. These are 2 and 3. So this is the 4, this is the 2. These, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 8. So this 12 cage, 9, 3 is possible. No, it's not. I can't put 9-3 in that. 8-4 is possible, but 7-5 isn't. So this is 8-4. So this is 8 and 4. The 4 and the 4, all right, I've already got that. So what is this triple? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 7, and 9. There's no 9 there, so this is the 9. The 5 and the 7 is resolved, 7 and 5, which means this is the 3 and the 5, which means this is the 2 and the 3. The 2 looks up making this the 6 and the 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is a 9. These are 1, 7, and 8. There's no one in those. So that's the one, that's the seven, that's the eight. This eight makes this the six and this the eight. These are one, two, three, five. There's no two or five there. That's the three. So this is a two, five pair and the five makes that the two and that the five. This is absolutely bonkers. Um absolutely bonkers this triple one two three four five three five and seven well there's no three in those so that's the three and the five resolves the seven and the five one two three four five six seven four and eight go into those so four and eight this is a pair one two three four five six and nine and the six makes that the nine and that the six which makes that the seven and that the six the six makes that the eight which makes that the six this pair one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm not sure what to do with that this is a triple one two three four five six seven and nine the six and the nine makes that the seven which makes that the six and that the nine this pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I always feel the need to check. This is the one, this is the four, so this is the three, this is the four. The four means that's the two, so that's the four. And now I've got these corners. Three is in one of those. Five is right here. So these are three, seven, and nine. There's no nine in those. So that's the nine, that's the three, that's the seven. These are one, two, three. So I can make that three and two. One, two, three, four, five, four, and eight. So four and eight and one and four. These have to have one. These are two, three, five, and seven. There's no five in those, so that's the five. The seven already in the column makes that the three and the seven. The nine looks like making that the six and the nine. I need to put a two right there. Three, four, five, six goes there. These are seven and eight, and I'll use that seven to make that the eight and that the seven. And that is the correct solution in eight minutes and 30 seconds which is 30 seconds under the two hat time. So I obviously found the trick on that one. 
cool. I really like that killer puzzle. Um, that is a really nice lesson in some killer tricks. I don't know what the trick was that they were talking about. I'm expecting it to be when you have cages like a seven and an eight cage like this, then if this had been one of the options, it would have eliminated both from the other. That's a, a that's a that's quite a common and not quite simple pairing trick with killer cages. If you haven't seen it before, it can be a little counterintuitive, but once you've done it a few times, and this is a really good puzzle for learning it because they were immediately forced and I think they were quite well telegraphed. Thank you for Bill Murphy for that one. That was really cool um, and I've got one more puzzle in this video I think it might be two but I think it's one I've lost count I'm just completely out of whack at the moment um, we'll find out and then I'll sign off the video then and now my friend we've reached the end this is the final puzzle in the this gas video that I'm recording. This is for the 14th of January 2024 um, and this is a puzzle called A Touch of Class by Philip Newman. There's the, this is the message that came with it. Today's gas, a classic Sudoku, is very unusual for one of my puzzles. I actually started setting this in the middle of a meeting with pen and paper. I'll post it as a spoiler, but even if you can actually figure out what's going on and how it applies to today's puzzle, I don't see the spoilers here, um, which is modified heavily more. i surprised if you can make it any faster. Uh, normal Sudoku rules applies and that it. Um, okay, uh, if you get a dinosaur today, you get a multi, uh, a, a, mas a masticating Mongolosaurus. Great, so this is a classic Sudoku. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply, which I've already described. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So this is a two by Sudoku. Um, nine is in one of those. I don't think that's it. Ah, three and five are looking down. I can't put three, five there. This is a three, five. Uh, so these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and nine. There's no nine in any of those. So that's the nine. This is a one, two. Can I do the same? Yes, this is seven, nine. So these are one, two, three, four, five, three, six, and eight. There's no three in either of those. So that's the three, this is a six, eight. This is now a triple, of course, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is one, four, five. So this is the four because it sees a one, five. Um, hmm. This is a, I got that two. Oh, that's a, f no. Okay. So this is a quadruple. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Four, six, seven, eight. Well, there's no four there. Ah, there's no eight there. Right, I could have done eight. This is eight. So this is four, six, seven. So this is the four and there's no four there. This is a six, seven pair. Okay. This quadruple maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, six, eight. There's no eight there. So eight is in one of those. There's no one there. That's not it. I'm looking. Ah, this eight, of course, makes this the six and this the eight. This two makes this the one and this the two. Maybe this quadruple, one, two, three, four, five, and seven. Well, there's no four or seven there, so that's a three, five. So three, five come out of there. The seven looks down, making that the four and that the seven. The five looks down, making that the three and that the five. This is a triple, which is one, six, and eight. There's no one in those, so that's the one. This is a six, eight, and I'm not sure what to do. But I want to look at these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, seven, four, five, seven, nine. There's no four, five there. That's the seven, nine. There's no seven, nine there. The five looks up, making that the four, which which makes that the five. The seven looks up, making that the nine and that the seven. This is, of course, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, and six. There's no six in either of those, so that's the six. This is a one, two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, five, and nine. There's no five there. Nine is in one of those two. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yep, three, seven, and nine, there's no seven there, and three is in one of those two. Ah, seven, 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 so seven is in one of those, but the seven, nine pair makes that the seven. So one, two, six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's a nine in one of those, oh, this is just one, two, nine. And that's not a one. 
five is in one of those two. Right, five's in one of those two, but it's not there because of the three, five pair. That's the five. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, three, six, and eight. There's no six there. I've got to put it. A... Oh, there's no six there. So this is one, two, three, and eight. So this is two, three, and eight. No. I am definitely missing something. One, two, three, and five are in there. So one, ah, oh, this is a three, five, because this is one, two, three, five in this column. And the one, two makes this a three, five. So this is a one, two. Now, can I do the similar here? These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a six, seven, eight there. That's a nine. That's a seven. That's a thing. This is six, eight. The nine makes that the three and that the seven. The seven looks across making that the six and that the seven, which looks back making that the eight and that the six. There's no eight there. That's a two, three. One, five, one, two. Oh, the five makes that the three, which means that's the nine and that's the five. The five looks back making that the one and that the five. The one looks back making that the two and that the one. The two looks back making that the three, which makes that the eight, which makes that the six, which makes that the eight. This is now the three. Now there's no eight here. So this is a one or a two. What is this? This is one, two, three, four, one, two, and six. There is no six there. There is no one there. Oh, the five makes that the three and that the five. This is a one, two pair. So I can take one, two out of those. This is a six, eight. This is one, two, nine. This one, that's a two. So there's no two in either of those. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's an eight. So this is a six. This is an eight. The six makes that the one, that the two, that the six. The one looks up making that the nine, that the two, that the one, which makes that the two, that the one. These are four and nine and that is the solution to the puzzle in five minutes 25 um I, which is one minute and five seconds under the two hat time so i did pretty well with that one i think i did okay with the hats on this i'm i definitely still enjoy speed solving less and i actually feel it's negatively impacting my other puzzle videos because i'm seeing deductions and i'm going it's this because this and moving on rather than actually savoring it and presenting the logic as elegantly as i used to so i need to when i'm solving puzzle other puzzles on the channel sort of remember to slow down and explain better because i do get new people um watching the channel um quite a bit um that was that was good um i enjoyed that one so um that entire series was good um i need to edit and try and get it out tonight um yeah thank you to all of the gas setters for that um thank you to everyone who supports the gas um people remember the link below to both the gas youtube channel and the gas homepage where you can find a whole heap of information um including other setters uh or other solvers sorry who solve um gas puzzles um and uh all sorts of stuff on their gas homepage um yeah i will basically say thanks for watching and as always Good luck with your solving.